Hello, it's me, Bob, Bilbo, Bob, as today I'm back with a tutorial on how to make every kind of kibble in the game. Not only how to make every kind of kibble in the game, but the easiest way that I find to make every kind of kibble in the game. Um, can I first say, I never thought I'd be good enough to do this video, so yay me. And second off, it's limited for what I can show you inside of my base due to... Um, me currently doing a series like a solo series and people who are on the same server as me watch my youtube channel so i can't give away too much but anyway you're here for kibble aren't you so i'm going to show you from basic to um this probably sounds really bad now but i don't remember the name of the last one i think it's extraordinary extraordinary uh yeah from basic to extraordinary kibble i'm going to show you how to make every kind of kibble in the game the kibbles I will be using, I won't use basic kibbles, I'm just making it for the purposes of this video, but everything else I will use. Right, so let's get to it. Right, sorry if I sound a bit rushed or a bit quick. Now this is like my little kibble area I've got right now. Can I move this box? I really don't like where I put it. Oh well, this has just got the um, fibre in it, because fibre is something you need. So we'll start our basic kibble. So, sorry if it's bright, the water's a bit annoying, isn't it? So, for basic kibble you need cooked meat. I'll, I'll show you what you need to make one of that kibble, or tell you what you need to make one of that kibble, but obviously I'll be making it in bulk, so I'll be using more than one, or more than whatever the amount is to make one. Right, so you're going to need... Um, first off, to make kibble, you can either make it in this, or if you're a bit lower level, you make it in a campfire. The only difference between this and a campfire is obviously campfire needs wood, this has gasoline to use. And in a campfire, for each time you want to make kibble, you got to get a new pouch of water or whatever. Whereas this is hooked up to water, so I don't need to worry about the water side of things. But I think to make anything you want to make requires water. If something doesn't require water, I will point it out. Otherwise, assume it requires a water skin full of water. So yeah. So right, one cooked meat. To make basic kibble, you need one cooked meat. You need 10 amberries, berries, which are these ones. You need 5 measure berries. You need 10 tinto berries. And you need fiber. And obviously the water as well, but yeah. Um, obviously I'm making more than one of these. So yeah, and this is just the base ingredients. For every kind of kibble, you also need a kind of egg. And for basic kibble, the kind of egg I will be using is parasol. Now, obviously, there are various kinds of eggs you can use for the various different kinds of kibbles. Um, for basic kibble, for example, there's like a bunch of different things like dodos, dilos, um, vultures, all kinds, yeah. But I'm going to, for the eggs I'm choosing, they're the eggs that I will also be using for other things like parasols. I'm obviously going to tame for their detecting ability. PT eggs for the simple kibble, obviously, because I use PT. There's other dinos that you will use for other things the most that I'm using for each kibble. That's how I'm doing it. So you're not going out of your way to tame a dino specifically for kibble. So now, with all this, uh, you just got to get the fibre. Did I get the fibre out here? No, I didn't. Um, everything needs fibre. Well, a lot of this stuff needs fibre as well, so you know. So turn it on, or you turn your campfire on, or whatever, and you will start to make basic kibble. There we go. I only have two um, parasol eggs, so that's all I can make. Um, but I'm not really going to be making much in the way of... I'm not going to be using basic kibble, so that doesn't matter. Alright, so that's basic kibble down. Next, um, why am I overheating so much? I don't know why. Next is simple kibble. So for simple kibble, you will need one cooked fish meat... Obviously, I have more than one. Um, carrot. Right. So, veggies. You need veggies for making kibble, yeah? The type of veggies are savaru, rockerot, long grass, and citronal. Now, over here, I'm going to show you how you do this veggie thing. Right. Now, over here, you can see I have one crop plot. Each has their own different kind of crop in it. See, this one grows carrot. So, what you need... From, like, collecting bushes and stuff, whether you do it with your hand or by a tame, within time, you will get these different seeds. You get the carrot seed, you'll get the um, savour root seeds, you'll get the long grass seeds, and, but that's not there, and you'll get the um, citronal seed. Now, all you need to do is put one seed in each of these, and as long as you have a constant supply of water and a constant amount of fertiliser... 
crops will grow. You only need one seed and you'll grow an infinite amount of crops pretty much. Well that's the way it works on this server. I'm pretty sure it's the same for every other thing. Oh my Jabella. So Oh, come on. So if I come here, I pick up all these different kinds of crops that have been growing. Um obviously fertilizer is another thing you will need. So for making fertilizer there's a few things you can do. You it needs uh, you need like poo pretty much for fertilizer. Um no matter how you want to make it. The options are you can either use a compost bin which you need um poo and thatch. You can use a dung beetle which you just chuck poo in and turns into fertilizer or you well um both of these work over the course of hours by the way so like similar to how making meat jerky would work pretty much if you know how that works and then for um then the other option is a toilet now working with a toilet what i do is i sit on here you poop and you flush it and you get a fertilizer sit on it poop flush it fertilizer so that's pretty much just how you make that those are the different ways to make fertilizer obviously toilets aren't as reliable because they depend on you needing to poo or not so you know but that's just how you do it and that's how you get your various different veggies you can put them in a greenhouse um so they grow quicker but on the server they grow quick enough i don't need to worry about that anyway so let's get back to the kibble so back to the simple kibble now you know how to make veggies or the short of it you need cooked fish meat you need rock or rot. So you need one cooked fish meat for one piece of simple kibble. You need one cooked fish meat. You need two rock or rot. You need five measure berries. And then you need fiber. And then you also need obviously the water. Um, so if I then put this in here. Um, also you need an egg. I keep forgetting about the egg. That's the most important thing. So for this I'm using a PT egg, because obviously you tame PTs for flying around there, the first fly you get. Now, for something to point out for eggs, to my belief, it doesn't make a difference if the egg is or isn't fertilized. So they can just be like, you could be breeding them and you could use a fertilized egg, or you could just use a random egg. And as you can see, I will make four pieces of simple kibble, just to show that it doesn't make a difference. Because as you saw, I had um, three fertilized eggs and one unfertilized egg, so it doesn't matter. Right, and that is Simple Kibble also made, so I can check that off the list. Next is a Regular Kibble. Now for Regular Kibble, you will need cooked meat jerky. Um, if you don't know how to make cooked meat jerky, you pretty much get cooked meat, um, and you put it in a preserving bin with spark powder and oil, and over the course of a few hours, it will start to turn to cooked meat jerky, but it's a few hours, so you've got to be patient. You also need, for one piece of um, regular kibble, you need one cooked meat jerky, two long grass, um, two savaroo, if I can find it, there it is, um, and then the fibre and the water. I think you need fibre and water for every kind of kibble regardless. And obviously you also need an egg, which I keep on forgetting about. For the regular kibble egg, I have chosen an anki, because... You're going to need Anki, they're going to be one of your first farming creatures you tame for getting your metal and all that. So that's what I'd recommend for um, that portion of things. So you turn it on, and if you watch, it will start to turn to kibble. I've got a lot of eggs here, so it'll take a bit longer. Right. Done. Something else to point out is using industrial cooker, um, it will turn to kibble a lot quicker than using a, or anything you make in an industrial cooker will be a lot quicker than using a cooking pot campfire thing. I forget what they're called. Um, so yeah. Right. Now that's regular kibble checked off the list. Now we start to move on to the um, superior kibble, which is now we move on to slightly harder things. Now for superior kibble, to make one piece of superior kibble, you need prime meat jerky, which is the same as meat jerky, only you use cooked prime meat instead of cooked meat. So you need one, to make one piece, you need one prime meat jerky, you need two citronel, you need one sap, but I'll get on to that. You need two rare mushrooms, 
which I believe I have. Oh, I forgot. No, I took them over, didn't I? I'm just really bad at looking. Two rare mushrooms, and I need your fiber and your water skin. For the egg I'm using for this, uh, for the making superior kibble, I'm using a fertilized RG egg. And that's because fertilized RG eggs, because um, RGs are going to be one of your first farming creatures you tame again because of their way, their good way. So now, obviously, I didn't go over sap. So sap, I'm going to chuck this all in here so it doesn't all, like, um, rot, pretty much. So sap, um, there are a few ways you can make it, yeah? Um, well, you can't make it, you can collect it. It's men in the redwoods, um, and there are two ways you can do it. You can either spend a bunch of time and resources making a wooden tree platform and then getting the tree sap taps, or you can do it this way. Right, I'm back. Now, I'm on Valgaro, um, but bear in mind, these things are what you want to be looking for, unless you want to spend all that resources making the trap, tree, sap, tap, whatever stuff. This is what you want to be looking for. Now, my coordinates are about a latitude, about 50-ish, by longitude, about 38-ish. Sorry, I can't show the rest of the map. I have important things I don't want my enemies seeing. Now, these things is what you want to look for. You get them in the Redwood biome. I think you get them on other maps, but I'm not too sure. I'm only Because this is a Valgaro only cluster right now. So, I think you mine it. I don't know which one gets you more. That gets you 52 sap with that, and that gets you 16. All right, so you mine it with a pickaxe. You mine these little things with a pickaxe. Obviously, the server's slightly boosted, so you will get slightly more. But you mine it with a pickaxe, and you'll get sap. Now, I'm going to mine a few of these. So I can get a good amount of sap. Um, they're everywhere. On this island I just pointed out, these two islands have them all over the place. You keep on going. You get as much as you want, or as much as you can, or whatever. Uh, I don't need any of this wood or thatch. Um, and then you get yourself a good amount of sit uh, sap, which you do need for a couple things at least, I think. So yeah, I'm going to farm a bit more than this of this, then I'll be back. Right, I'm back. Um, I'm going to get some sap. I'm going to quickly go through what it is again I need. Uh, sorry if I'm a bit repetitive. For me, it's been a lot longer than it has been for you, so I'm not 100% sure if I did read out, read out the exact instructions. Uh, so, obviously, you only need one prime meat jerky. This is for superior kill, by the way. Um, two citronel, sap, one sap, two rare mushrooms. Where's the rare mushrooms? There they are. I always lose them. And obviously, the fiber in the water and RG eggs because they're a pretty common tame anyway. So, yeah, now if I pop all this in here, um, this should work. Bear in mind, again, that if you're making this in a cooking campfire pot thing, I forget what they're called, you're going to need to refill a water pouch and put it in there every single time, so it's not ideal. It's also a lot slower. Right, now that's done. The next one, that's superior kibble done. Now the next one is exceptional kibble. Now, for exceptional kibble and extraordinary kibble, you need to make um, some consumables as well. For this, you're going to need one focal chili for exceptional kibble. You need one focal chili, you're going to need one rare flower, you're going to need ten medra berries, and you need your fiber, fire fiber and your war and all that. Um, and that's to make one. And obviously for an egg, I'm choosing to use a rex egg, because rex is a pretty common tame, so you're going to be having them for boss fights. So, yeah. Um, now, for making the focal chili, because you're going to need to make focal chili first before you make the rest of the kibble, you're going to need to make one focal chili, you need nine cooked meat, five citronel, 20 tinto berries, um, 20 ozzle berries, 20 am berries, and 10 medra berries. Now, if we put this all in here, this should make focal chili, I think. Hopefully it will. I'll be very sad. I'll probably cry. Am I missing something? Nope, there we go. Focal chili, nice. Alright, so I'll make a few of these. And then I will get back to you. Right, I'm back. I've made a lot more than I'm going to need, but that's alright. Right. Now we're going to turn this off again. Now we've made the focal chili. I just want to see how long it lasts in a fridge. Alright, um, right, that's decent. Now we've made the focal chili. Let's get everything we need to make the extraordinary kibble, which is... Let me quickly find it. 
Uh, one focal chili, obviously I'm going to be taking more than that because I'm making more. One rare flower, ten measure berries, uh, then your fiber and your water skin, and the egg is Rex X. Right, let's, let's pop all this in there. And that should make me some extraordinary kibble. Well, exceptional kibble, sorry, not extraordinary. The yellow one, there you go. Right, now that's done. Take all that, put the, that back in. Pop all that in there. Now we're going to move on to Extraordinary Kibble. Now for Extraordinary Kibble, you need the egg type I'm going to be using is Wyvern eggs because I have Wyverns, they're pretty easy to steal. I've just been stealing a bunch of low level eggs. Uh, yes, I'm going to turn a 155 egg into Kibble. Some of you might find that outrageous, but you know, I'm doing it anyway. Um, so you're going to need giant bee honey, one giant bee honey, one Lazarus chowder, and ten measure berries. Now, first off, we'll make the Lazarus chowder, because I have that here. Then I'll show you what I believe to be the best way to get honey. Yes, I'm aware for honey, you can go over to crystal, and you can mine, like, a bunch of it. But this is a Valgaro only cluster, and if for whatever reason you don't have Valgaro in your cluster, if you're playing on official, or if you just can't access Valgaro, or not Valgaro, um, Crystal Isles forever. Um, for whatever reason, if you can't get on Crystal Isles, this will be the best way to do it then. Um, for getting honey. Right, so for the Lazarus Chowder, I'm talking on a bit, aren't I? Um, you need nine cooked meat. Uh, wait, I don't have any narcotics, do I? Um, let's find out. No, I don't. I need narcotics. I'll be back in two seconds. Right, so to make one Lazarus Chowder, you need nine cooked meat, two narcotics, Five Savaru, five long grass, if I can find the long grass, and ten measure berries. That's what you need, and obviously your water as well. You don't need, for the measure berries and the focal chili, can't point out you don't need fiber, okay? It's just for kibbles you need fiber. So now, if we put all this in here and turn it on, we should start to make ourselves some Lazarus chowder. If I've done this right. Oh wait, I've still got the kibble in there, don't I? Uh, should be everything. Oh, I forgot the measure berries. Oopsie daisies. Right, let's get the measure berries. Right, now it should start. I think that's everything this time. Yeah, there we go, Lazarus Chowder. I'll make a few of these. And then I will make, then I'll talk you through the bee honey you need for the um, extraordinary kibble. Right, now that's done, I'm going to show you um, what I believe to be the easiest way to get um, giant bee honey. So let's put this back and let's go. Right, I'm back. Some of you might recognize this spot. Here it is again. Sorry about not being able to show the full map. 
It's about 55 by 72-ish. This whole little area you can see is where beaver dams spawn. But beaver dams aren't the only thing that spawn. There are about three different areas where you can get giant bee honey from in this area alone. And obviously because it's got the beaver dams you can do two things at once and you can go get a smelling paste as well. Now this is what a beaver hive beehive looks like. Um, now every time you gather honey, I think you get like five or ten honey or something, but you also get massively damaged by the bees. So if you want to be able to gather multiple beehives or multiple honeys at once, what you do, press triangle, you're going to get attacked by bees, and then they wear out. Bring a med bruise, yeah? They will heal you. Because obviously this does a lot of damage. It could kill you if you don't have enough health. So then you drink med bruise, get your health up nice and quickly. And then you can go for another one. And this way you can go get multiple at once if you need to. But I doubt I'll ever need to go for more than one at a time. Unless I'm planning to send something big. Right, back to full health. Another one is here. Let's go for the second one. Right. Obviously, you might need to be, if you don't have enough health to survive it and you don't want to die, you'll need to drink um, med brews as you go. Making med brews is um, tinto berries, narcotics, and water in a cooker, I believe. That's how you make med brews. Now, let's see how much honey I'm getting from this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, but you need to be quick because it doesn't have a very... Uh, that's a very quick spoil timer. Right, let's go to the third place I know about. Right, here we are. I don't know if you see it, but just there. Right, I'm gonna have a couple more med brews before I get to it. There we go. Um, right, beehive, there we go, now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 bee honeys, just like that, and that's how you go if you want to get a good amount of bee honeys, obviously it means you need to prepare and make narcotics, not and narcotics and med brews beforehand, but... If I'm going to be honest, I doubt I'll ever be going for more than one beehive at one time, so it's alright. But just for the purposes of this, this is how I can easily get it. Now I'm going to quickly go and get some beaver dams, some spending paste, and then I'll get back to you. Just quickly, in case you didn't know, you can get both rare mushrooms and rare flowers from beaver dams. You can also get rare mushrooms from mining crystals. Um, and I think you can sometimes collect both of these in different places, but I'm not too sure about that. So yeah, just so you know. In case you didn't know how to get through these things. Back, and I have my bee honey fully collected. I sh The full time they last is 24 hours in a um, refrigerator, just so you're aware. I should have really gone for the um, cementing paste first, but doesn't really matter. Right, so for the extraordinary kibble, you need a giant bee honey. I'll take four, because I have four wyvern eggs. Uh, you need a Lazarus chowder. Oh, okay. Um, you need me 10 measure berries. And this is to make one. Um, and you need obviously your five fiber and your water. Um, I'm also for the special egg. Um, there aren't many. It's Dinosuchus, Hesperonis, Magmasaur, Rock Drake, Wyvern, and a UT. I'm using Wyvern eggs because I've already got Wyverns, and Wyvern eggs are relatively easy to steal anyway. So, yeah. Now we put all of this into our industrial cooker turn it on and should make extraordinary kibble and that is the hardest kibble to make by the way just so you're aware so yeah it's just like that that simple that easy obviously you want to make more kibble you'll get more ingredients so yeah right and there you have it that's how you make every kind of kibble in the game simple no not simple basic simple regular um, superior, exceptional, and extraordinary. All the kibbles in the game, how to make it. Obviously, this has only been done, done on Valgero, but 
on whatever map you're on. Same idea, really. Um, obviously, getting bee honey is a lot easier at crystal. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. And this is what I believe to be the easiest tames to use for the eggs, because they're tames you'll need regardless. And the easiest ways to get some of these things you need to get. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one.